Now, Django, you may choose your character's costume. He's gonna let me pick out my own clothes. Yeah, but of course. His name is Cain. He had a horse along the countryside. I saw him ride. He had a gun. I knew him well. And when he shot, oh, that man he never missed. Hey, family. Welcome to this special edition of Irvington Unbound, the official newsletter of the Sheridan Street Block Association. I'm your host, Jay, and I hope you and your family are slaying the day. Originally, this was supposed to be a Jay Explains the Township's 5K, but so much information came down that we just decided to make it a special edition. First things first, apologies to, de to Deputy Director of Public Works, Glenn Vick. I either messed up his title or didn't use it in a recent episode. Yes, I really do say that. And it was brought to my attention, so apologies, but that's a great segue into the upcoming school board race. Because it was pondered who Team Irvington Strong's opponents would be, and the next day, we got our answer. We received an email about the candidacy of Dave Pickney, who was running alongside Marie Lycan, or Lyson, I'm not sure. <laughs> the race is April 25th, and if we're lucky, there can be a debate. Find out where the candidates stand, get some democracy up in this piece. I feel a need to drop a disclaimer. The SSBA does not endorse candidates for any office. We just want to see those who seek our votes fight for our votes. Now, about this 5K. It was an awesome event, and I hope that it becomes a frequency and not just an annual thing. It was a great seeing the township come together to promote and encourage good health amongst the youth. I call it the No Fat Kids Walk. <laughs> Coordinated and overseen by Dr. Griffin and the Irvington Health Coalition, there were plenty of smiles despite the cold weather. And fellas, the bakery was open. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, yeah, this, you put this all together, this is your thing, this is your yeah. baby. With the Irvington Health Coalition. I'm okay. Dr. Griffith, the director of the health department, as well as the Irvington Health Coalition. Beautiful. We together, this 5K walk and run event. Uh, we're promoting and trying to bring awareness to childhood obesity. Okay. Uh, because it is a bit of an epidemic here. Yeah, and notice. So we want to make sure that we, we get everybody moving. Exactly. Adults and kids alike. Taking the whole Michelle Obama approach. Absolutely. I can do If you missed it, we're going to have a great event, a great walk. I'll talk to you at the end of it. You Sadly, we never saw the mayor after the race. I finished before a lot of people, and when my body began to cool down, it started to freeze over. So, peace out. But I did get um, some people crossing the finish line. Yeah, beautiful for the town. Yes, for the township of Irvington. We have to make sure we um, we have to recognize childhood obesity. Yes, and and how how, how crucial that is so, to this to this community. Are we gonna start the race with no fat kids? <laughs> one team, one dream. That's the only way we can make it happen. I'm all in. Are I can you? dig it. Getting ready to have a good time, man. It's all for a good cause. Beautiful. So Glad fun. to hear it. You look like you're ready to go out there and kick some, kick some absolutely, butt. Absolutely. Hey, April 20th today, we're here to start the five, first actually, 5K walk and run. Yes. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of attention to childhood obesity and the importance of reducing childhood obesity. So, again, we thank you for coming out and we're ready to get started. Okay. So, we need all of the runners first. Full disclaimer as I wrap up this video, I make these videos highlighting the good so when I go in on the poverty and the nonsensical drug war, no one can say I don't highlight the good. It's foolproof. <laughs> the obesity epidemic that our children face wasn't by accident. It's not a coincidence, but by design. There's a reason honey buns are 50 cents and a banana is 65 cents. Look, I was recently told that I, Jay, am the only one talking about such things. Django, take it away. 76 years, Steven. How many niggas you think you see come and go? Huh? 7,000? 8,000? 9,000? 
9,999. Every single word that came out of Calvin Candy's mouth was nothing but horseshit. But he was right by one thing. I am that one nigga in 10,000.